All right, hey guys, what's up? This is a little more thirty five, and today we are playing the reclamation event. Um, it is not going too well, to be honest, guys. Uh, it's it's taken a while for me to, you know, get not so worked up about how terrible this event is. But anyways, I get I guess I could at least show you how to auto a level thirty or thirty three, uh, Vega fleet. Out and maybe even get some blueprints for it. So we're gonna head and uh, I'm gonna show you the fleet actually before we go out and attack it. Um, here we go. So I'll show you the fleet first because it's about a minute until the next uh, fleets come out. So the first three slots are just some tanks basically. They don't have to be Aurora rays. Um, I've just got a Exodus cruiser with. As you can see, shock four, rear four, and then the focus optics two, along with two iridium armors and a plasteel armor. It's basically the Exodus Cruiser build I showed you guys in the Destiny versus Exodus Cruiser build. And I have three of those. They're basically the tanks. And then back here are the firepower Rancor battleships. They've got explosive shield three, rotation three, two tritanium two armors, and four hydra missiles. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and launch that fleet, and okay, we've got 10 seconds, so hopefully a level 30 or a 33 will spawn that we can destroy. Um, if there's one good thing about this event, I do like the VSEC spawns. They're much better now coming from the planet like this, and it allows for more people to get um, cargos that they can actually hit. Um, so no 30s or 33s. Spawn there. Oh, that's a 30. Sorry. That is a 30. So we're good. I've gotten a few blueprints. I've gotten one net torpedo and uh, a pentagon blueprint so far. And I haven't really been doing too much of this event. Because honestly, it's kind of boring uh, doing this event. So what I do here, basically, to start off the fight, is I send these guys to go and attack um, the Ragnarok carrier like this. And I'll send this guy to go attack um, these uh, Lance Destroyers because those are not good um, for the old Rancor battleships taking those hits. Um, so basically we want our Exodus Cruisers to soak up a lot of the damage. I mean, that's what they're for. Um, they don't take too much repair time. I mean, honestly, this is an instant free repair pretty much every single time I've done this. Um, so hopefully that will be the case here, and uh, we can we can get it on video for you guys. Um, actually, sorry, I, I forgot. I, I sent that one to actually attack. You want the two to go and attack the Ragnarok, and you want the one to go over and keep this guy busy, because if he's firing on your Rancor battleships, it's not a good day. Uh, they don't have the shields for that. Um, so at the level 30 level, it's pretty easy. When these two go and attack the Ragnarok carrier, they also draw the fire of this Lance Destroyer. And then, most of the time, they will go back down and destroy the Lance Destroyer. Uh, keeping your Rancor battleships safe from the incoming fire of the Lance Destroyers. So as you can see, not a shot was fired towards my Rancor battleships, and they're cleaning up everything else with relative ease. Now keep in mind that a, a fully destroyed Rancor battleship in this fleet has about an 8 minute and 46 second repair. Um, I've never had to do that completely until I tried to run this into a 35. Then there was some problems. Um, but for the most part, this will run you a free instant repair. And it's good for blueprint farming. So yeah guys, this will take on level 33s too. Um, just make sure you don't screw up and send... And send uh, only one ship at the carrier. You want two ships at the carrier and then one ship at the uh, Lance Destroyer on the right so that it will keep them busy. And as you can see, our Rancor battleships have hardly taken any damage and our Exodus cruisers have hardly even gone through the shield. Now that'll give you 920 massive amounts of Amber Shards from a VSEC Detachment 30 and uh, from a level 33 it will give you about 1290. Uh, so it's not that much, to be honest, guys. Um, and apparently there's a bug where your v their Vega alert is supposed to correspond to your base level. 
so that you don't have to destroy as many fleets as, say, a level 45 would, but that's apparently not working right now because, you know, I've hardly got in any. Um, so I'm just going to try to get one base attack on, on my base. I mean, I did all the preparation for it. So now to repair this, you just take out the uh, Exodus Cruisers, and those will be free repair basically by themselves, and then you put them back in at uh, one at a time, and they'll be free repair too. So, um, like I said, this doesn't have to have Auroras on it. It just has to be a tank um, and be able to deal at least a decent amount of damage, guys. And then it's just basic Hydra Rancors. Uh, they don't have to have extreme shielding. Uh, the more firepower you can get, the better. Uh, I mean, you might be tempted to put Explosive Shield 4 and only have 3 Hydra Missiles, but that's not going to work with this specific build. It might work if you have six Rancor battleships, but for this one we've got the three tank method and then the firepower behind them. So this does a good job of cleaning that up. But anyways guys, I hope this at least helps you get to tier one. I mean, that's what I'm going to try to do and hopefully the Vega alert thing will get fixed. But uh, yeah guys, so if you made it to the end of the video or if it helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more Vega Conflict content in the future. But that's about it for me guys, so I will see you in the next video.